Hey, everybody. Welcome to the collection with Keith and Matt. I'm Matt. He's Keith. Keith. Thanks for being here. We, uh, this is what we do. We uh, collectively hang out. We collect cards. We're selling cards a little bit. A little bit. Uh, we did this together as kids when all you could do was go to a show or go to your local card shop or like rip off the kid who lives down the street. And now we're back into it, probably like a lot of you. Uh, what are we doing today, Keith? We are exhausting the rest of what we found on the shelves for Chrome and a little bit of Series 2. So what I found, so we each have a blaster, we each have a couple hangers, we each have a couple cellos of the Chrome. What I've just noticed just now is that my hair is not cooperating. But between the two hangers, I don't know what you have, but mine are different. Um, oh. I hear my kid. My kid's trying desperately to get downstairs. Oh. Uh, no, mine are mine. I think are the same because in the last episode you opened the one that I gave you. Yeah. And I saved the two that you gave me. All right. So, so you have one from me and one from you. Yeah. So the difference is at the top, you can see includes coupons for Tops Gallery. So more importantly, it, it includes a, a one five card uh, pack of Tops Gallery. And then this one is a preview of Tops Update. Yeah. It's basically where you get like uh, Jeter and your Honus Wagner and your Mickey Mantle. It's like, you know, I think you got Bichette, you got Acuna. Yeah. Is that Acuna? Acuna, there's a little tilde over the end. So oh, Acuna you. is what I've been saying. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, those five basically are junk cards, right? I hope not. But I mean, you're guaranteed, you know, Bichette or Honus Wagner or something like that and so if you if everybody is guaranteed makes it less special I have to imagine but I've seen people selling the galleries as a set and it's only like 12 or 15 cards yeah I think and probably only 12 or 15 bucks yeah I something think they're like about to be commons yeah. oh well uh Okay, cool, man. Are we going straight to ripping? Are we talking about the Denver Nuggets Utah Jazz game last night and what the chaos that that game was? Since I didn't watch the game, I have no, I have nothing to contribute, and I might be a pit, on a pitch count because my daughter's watching the TV show. So we should get to cards. We should get going. You should open. You want me to go first? Yeah, go first. You're on I'll that be, pitch count. I'll be happy to. Let me admit myself. I'm going to start with Series 2. Mm. Get those out of the way. All that talk about Chrome. Yeah. Got to wait. And once again, I open it from the top. Easier to get to the bottom. Is I... it? Yeah, because once you open the... Yeah, because it, it's it looks like this inside. And you have to kind of navigate... Yeah, a little. Yeah, hung here. Yeah, I guess I could get it out there. The top is glued pretty well, though, or the bottom's glued pretty well. It really is. Tearing it apart. All right, I'm just tearing, I'm ripping. But you're right. You open from the bottom, and and those babies are set right there. They're right there. They're waiting for you. Okay, series two comes in a pack like this. The hangers, just. Not a pack. Just here's some cellophane, and here are just just a stack of cards for you. A whole stack of cards. All right, I can already see you got some eighty fives in here. All right, so let's just go piece by piece here. I'm gonna try to rifle through. Yes, sir. Rifle. Do, do, do. Can you see these? All right. Yeah. Good. I still love me a pack of series too. Yeah. Something just comforting yeah. about just straight up tops. Yeah. And you can't find them very much anymore. No. I mean, they're really hard to find. I, I thought when Chrome came out that they would just be plentiful. Yeah. I mean, when first day we were looking for Chrome, I went to a Target and there were 20 this... blasters of series two. Look at this guy. I know I have a glove. What? 
I have a glove, but you know what? This is this is a contract year, maybe. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put it on him a little bit, like a dad catch. Yeah, like uh, throw it harder. Yeah, I'm just using probably hitting it harder next time. <laughs> I can catch this with my bare hands. Will Smith, woo, ha ha, getting jiggy with it. <laughs> Daddy loves you. Jose Abreu, he's having a year. That's the first yeah. decent card I've gotten. There's really nothing in here. I, I always, honestly, I feel like ugh, I, I had my conspiracy theory is that when they first come out, they they front load the release. Man, they put all the Louis and the Kyle Lewises and the Eloys in like the fir- the early part oh, of the tops release, and then the back of it's just commons that's my oh opinion. yeah like c- come on dude can't i can't it, it's just all right You're really ripping through charlie them. morton charlie morton is the subject of my sentence and what the predicate says he does you know what that's from no. schoolhouse rock mr morton is the subject of my sentence and what the that's predicate fairly. says he does I barely remember Schoolhouse Rock. Mm. Big guy using his glove. That's a great, great shot. Big chunk of my childhood that I've just forgotten about. Man. Well, Keith. This is just an unfortunate. There's a Griffey. That's got fun. that Griffey turkey red. Ooh, Jackie Robinson. Ooh. Very my turkey man. reds have been my best pull out of these. Those are my hits. Your best hit? But really, barely anything worth putting in, putting in plastic. Yeah, that wasn't very good. <laughs> I'll be. That wasn't very good. All right, Both now I'm starting. Time. I'm starting with some cello. We're gonna cut that part out. <laughs> we might just omit the series two openings. We might just have to omit like this episode and the last episode. <laughs> There's what just people- not much here. Do, do people want to watch us open bad cards or do they want us to skip to the good stuff? Let's find out. Leave a oh, comment. Aaron Nola. So this has got to be a numbered one. Yeah, that's two ninety nine. But How do you know that? Because it feels thicker. It's purple. I think the purple ones are numbered. Okay. Or something like that. Here's a super refractor or a prism refractor. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a numbered card. Does that get the sound effect? Michael Winslow over here, Police Academy, just with all the sound effects. Oh man, I watched that movie so many times when I was a kid. Yell it! Ooh, that was a thunderous put down of the. Of the oh, that- <laughs> Heavens, my heavens, heavens, that's young. That's... Mike Trout. That's always nice to get a trout. Yeah, put him in a pile. That looks something. Yeah, well, I think you're guaranteed a refractor in every. Are you you're guaranteed something special? In so this is um, what's what's that the uh oh. Your oh, pink no, refractor? No, this, yeah, this is my pink refractor cards. Oh. <gasps> you know what they say. Oh, I, I yell it. Andrew. Ozzy. Vlad, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good card. It's a good card. Luis Castillo. And a yellow. That looks like an interesting pose. Yellich. I wonder if that's the base card pose. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Serial okay. ending uh, 595. But it was pink, so who knows? Once again, we're not very good at this, but not just this. Also this. You know, we bought a lot of chrome last week. And we don't have much to show for it. 
We don't have anything to show for it. It's been pretty bad. Yeah. The first time we opened Chrome, there's a Vlad. First time we opened Chrome, it was chunky, right? Yeah, it really was. I have that Whitfield Prism, Prism Refractor. Yeah. It was. We, we got, we got, um, we both got the Luis Roberts throwback. Yeah. Which we were um, excited about. And then we saw, and then we thought, oh, it's the 85. Right. Oh, I mean, it's, there you go. Juan Soto. It's a, it's still a $15 card, right? 85. Uh, I don't know about that. You know? I don't think it is that high, but who knows? He had a walk off Homer last night. Did you see that? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm busy watching basketball. Yeah. Sinsu Chu. Using the pinks. Toro. Soto. That's a good one. There you go. I like that. All right. Now I'm down to. Two hangers and one blaster. Choo, 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 choo. Oh boy. If you could go back in history to see one event, what would it be? Oh my gosh, like any event or any sporting event? Any event in the history of the world. I mean, gosh, that's such a good question. I, the first thing that pops into my head is um, like assassinations. Those are like huge events, you know, but I don't know that I'd want to like be present for JFK's assassination. That seems like a... a bit of a uh something that would maybe cause me problems uh <laughs> all know, right like, let me yeah so assuming you could get you know your head straight after whatever after seeing whatever event man this is like my third or fourth vlad look at that wow oh here's my first uh reverse or negative yeah. card Trent Grisham. I don't know anything about him, but it's cool. That, that's cool. Um, Indoor. you know, maybe honestly, like basketball has always been incredibly important to me. It would maybe be that first game with Dr. James Naismith putting the peach basket up on the wall. Okay. Would be pretty powerful. Okay. Um, being able to see the the like being at the national championship game between Bird and Magic. Okay. Oh, hold on. If you are if you are with Naismith in Springfield, Massachusetts, are you playing with them and just destroying them? Yeah, you got to play like you know you can. Because I'll tell you what, that would be awesome. Oh, Matt Dibble with the ball again. <laughs> Just crossing them up. That would be fun. Um, those two kind of pop into my head. What do you? What about you? You got one? I don't know. Uh, I thought of the question before I thought of my own answer. <laughs> um, it would be cool to see. I'm a history guy, so yeah. Um, look at that dimple on that. Oof. Oh, baseball. Yuck. Nelson Cruz, he's having you know here. Washington crossing the Potomac. Um, something like a uh, Cunha. Cunha. It's a refract. There you go. Um, uh, passing of you know the um of Lee's resolution or something like that. The vote for independence. Oh uh, yeah. Or something like that. The Boston Tea Party. Yeah. Signing of the declaration. Yeah. My yeah, I think I would be somewhere around there. Yeah. Dustin May. Dustin. Look at how high that knee is. 
That's great, dude. People talk about the hair. I'm, I'm talking about the knee. That's up there. You're a knee guy. You always have been. <laughs> what a weird thing to say about another guy. Um, all right. And now these are the preview of Topps Gallery. There you go. Onus Wagner, Mickey Mantle. Um, I got to get all my lighting and everything figured out here. Having a real time. Trout, Bellinger, Aquina, Tatis, Judge. It's like the first pack I got of those, right? Yeah. But I am so excited to have my own space now. Yeah, that is exciting. Uh, I got a light coming, which will really help things. Right. Or maybe a, an historical event that's uh, to this day inconclusive. Like they don't really know what happened. Right? Like JFK assassination yeah. or something like that. Just to know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You still probably wouldn't know though. Hey. Hey. So like to be on the grassy knoll, like if you could choose the event and the location, I mean, Hey, if I'm, if I'm crossing brothers up, Oh, that's sweet. Is that a refract? Oh, dude. That's nice. That's a prism refractor. That is a prism refractor. That's been the best card I've pulled out of our entire booty here. That's great, dude. Congratulations on that one. Thank you. I'm happy about That's... that one. You keeping or selling? At this point, I think I'm keeping Boba Shett. He's of the, I don't know, top three or four prospects that I would say I'm investing in. He's uh, three things. One, uh, he's got great hair. Two, handsome as all get out three i hear he's good i don't know much about it but and i, I like people i like people who have alliteration in their first and last names yes that's geez he's a, my first he's a, aaron judge card he's a four tool guy only four oh, oh i mean hair looks oh. alliteration. <laughs> other people say he's good got it <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant. How about uh, historical events? How about when they were throwing the Mickey Mantles into the into the ocean? Do we know why that happened? I read about it, and I can't remember. Um, I don't know. If I, was, was it intentional? Well, I think that... I don't know. I, I, so I'm going to guess at it. I'm going to guess that they thought that baseball cards were worthless. Maybe it had something to do with the war. I don't know. I remember Brown. reading about it. Brendan McKay, freshman flash. Again, we're probably, I at least, in missing several um, numbered cards throughout here. Oh, yeah, for sure. So nearly 45 years after he played his last game, um, his cards were thrown into the ocean. What year did that happen? 45 years. 45 years. Okay. It's like a whole story. To start, let's go back to 1952. So how much time do we have here? I don't know. Uh, so the These first my... series of 52 cards sold very well. Um, series two tanked. Kids had short attention spans and they were moving from baseball to football. Mm. Um, and they found warehouses filled with case after case of the 52 top second series. They had moved on from like their failed baseball card business venture. It's these two guys. And it's like they needed more space for their booming enterprise. And they put them on a garbage barge. Wow. Well, this was intentional. They wanted to get rid of them. Yeah. Sounds like it. And wow. We needed room. We needed <laughs> yeah. room. I know. Let's, let's get an, an ocean barge 
Here's how we get rid of them. Why don't we just put them in the dumpster, Harry? <laughs> the dumpster. No, it has to be more elaborate than that. We want to be bigger fools. Yeah, it's elaborate, dramatic. Right. Yeah. All right, these are the last things I'm opening here. This is my last uh, blaster. Thank right. God. Last blaster. What are you looking for, John? My helmet. Oh, I don't think it's down here. Rifling through, rifling through. The pack. It's a turd. I wish I should unhook my phone and see what that bichette is selling for. Oh. Maybe I can give you a little insight before we I'd say it's move on. 30, 35 would be my guess. It's another bichette 85. Yeah. It's my wow. second Bachette 85. I wish those 85s were you know, more thought after. Because I have a few of them. Yeah. 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 Randy Johnson die cut. Huh. 30, huh. 30, 35. Two have been sold. One for, did you say 30, 35 is my guess? Yeah. Yeah. One for 30 and the other for 35. Every once in a while, I'll run into one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. They can't all be strikeouts. A broken clock finds an acorn every now and then. Remember when I had a card that was turned the other way and it ended up being like a $2 card? Yeah, that was weird. That stunk. Got me all excited. Yeah, when you... Yeah. Why you have this yet... card back? What's that? Why is this card backward? Oh, it's got to be good. No, it doesn't. Altuve. Will he ever be redeemed? Uh, well, yeah. At some point. Everybody loves a redemption story. Yeah. It's just too bad. He did kind of like take John Boy to a different level, though, didn't he? John Boy. Single John Boy's popularity through that whole thing went through the roof. Oh, John Boy. I thought you were saying John Boy, like from. Um, like John, my son? John Boy. No, uh, there's a TV show. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, um, yeah. Not they Little House. Like, they have like eight kids. So yeah. Like, yeah. Night so and so, night so and so, night yeah. John Boy. Yeah. The family, the. Uh, Miguel, Miguel, man, Waltons. this is just a, the Waltons, the Waltons. This is my last pack. No Luis. Luis, no Kyle Lewis. Come on. Is this the sepia refractor? These are the sepia. <sighs> The sapias. This guy's just throwing a bat. That's a great shot. Is he throwing? Yeah, he's yeah, throwing his bat. Post strikeout. Puck. AJ Puck. Okay. Not okay. <laughs> I've got You're this done, to dog. show for it. I've got this. It doesn't even cover your costs. No. I don't no, I don't think I have um uh, even in the aggregate my my costs here. So that's cool. Oh, that, that was a rough it's been but a rough go with this. It has. Let me see if I can't redeem this. Look at all these, these landscapes. Mm. This is a series two. Yeah. A okay. series two, Daniel Norris. Daniel Norris is kind of a hometown favorite. So is it basically Luis Robert or nothing? Pretty much. Yeah. Also, you know how Zoom buffers from time to time? Like it'll pause, but then it'll go really quick. Yeah. <laughs> you went like this. <laughs> like, wow. You, slow down. So You're going to damage your cards. 
Well, I guarantee, I promise you, you didn't miss anything. Caught it. Got it. Look at the dirt flying up behind. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of sweet. That's nice. It's a cool shot, too. It is. They do have some great pictures. And Tops is, Tops is Tops in that regard. Mm hmm. A lot of concentration there. Yeah. Do it. All right. All right. Got it. Look at all these guys playing baseball. Look at them baseballing all around. All right. Ready to be done with these. There's a gold. I didn't even get a gold today. Is it? This is a. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, it is a gold. All right. A gold. That's a Mike Schmidt short print. It's a oh, that's cool. Card. Yeah. He was. I played third base. He was my in my collection, heavy in my collection. Hold on, How, what's the number on that gold? Is it twenty twenty? Twenty twenty. Okay. Turkey reds. Nothing. Nothing. All right, you got a. That's out of. You got a Mike Schmidt. Yeah, I have another one too. I, I was gonna hold on to it, but now that I, now that I have two of them, I might just go get like the five bucks or whatever I get in an auction. Yep. Make your dollar fourteen on your shipping. Everything, everything, uh, every little bit matters. Get your eighty-three cents. I know. Profit from. What do you charge for shipping? Three ninety. That seems to be the going right i've been doing 380 i did four bucks a couple times yesterday all right now we're into the this is a cello chrome cello this is not low yep all right i love how they like they like shade that guy out a little bit mm -hmm. no big hits though okay In either one of these i thought you said this is tops hey it seems more like bottoms Don't judge people's sexual preferences, Keith. What? Don't go. Is Jordan Alvarez? It. Is Jordan Alvarez a guy? He's a guy. I heard he's getting surgery on both knees. Well, that bodes well for his future. Well, can only go up from here. I th look at that. Full shot. I think that's a short print. I don't think it is. Nope. 595. Nine, five. Maybe we've just seen that before. Yeah, we have. Pink refractors. Coming out of the dugout. You've probably seen all of these. TBH. Oh. Hey. That's nice. Hey. I got a guy. That's 20 bucks, 20, 25. Now you have my guy. Trading cards. Age of six and up. There's your not 99 cent Kayvon Biggio. Can't give it away. <laughs> Although I, I don't have the pink, I just have the refractor. Oh, okay. That Kyle's nice, though. Into some, some plastic. Nice hustle. Nice, bruv. Okay. My next cello. So did your dad watch each of these episodes? In their entirety. I think my dad watched maybe like half of one. <laughs> He doesn't love me. This is not for me. <laughs> he was like, yeah, it was good. <laughs> End of conversation. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't blame him. It's a long game. Oh, oh shit. 
Good. Nice. Freshman flash. I, I don't know the value of these freshman flashes. Nor do I. And where they kind of land. I've, right. uh, I think I've got a, a Jesus Lazardo, but that's about as good as I've got. Look at that hair. It's nice hair. It's nice tongue hair. sticking out a little bit. Oh, that's nice hair. She's a beauty, Clark. Is your house on okay. fire, Clark? Good start. Your 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 Twitter joke about the lights twinkling was very funny. It it went nowhere. You said it's when it's supposed to be a refractor, and then it's. The little lights aren't twinkling. It's listed as refractor, but it looks like a base. Yeah. Well, the little lights aren't twinkling. I know, Art. Thanks for noticing. Those right. were pink cards. That was uh, my cellos. <clears throat> I'm getting into my first hanger. So I appreciate that they put packs in the hanger. You're still ripping packs. Yeah. Versus, uh, you know. The series two where it's just, here's a bunch of cards. Right. Like, oh, thanks. And Four cards in a pack. It feels so thin. Yeah. But you're still, it's the sensation of opening the pack, right? Yeah, you do. You get more of that, I guess, right? Right. Peralta. Right. These cards are so nice. Elvis Andrus. So nice. What's your favorite song, Keith? Penny Lane by the Beatles. Mm -hmm. You named your dog after it. My daughter's name is in Penny Lane. Her name is Mackenzie, as you know. We call her Mac. And in the second mm. verse, and the banker never wears a Mac, which is a raincoat, short for Macintosh raincoat. There it is. That's my favorite song. It's also one of those room. It's it's <clears throat> as soon as the song starts, we all have songs like this, like every single time. I've heard the song a thousand times, but as soon as like we do in Penny Lane. I, it's just a oh, great song. <laughs> no matter how many song. times I've heard it, like I'm just reminded, like, oh, I love this song. Did you see the movie yesterday? I did. Um, here's my five card uh, tops update series. What did you think of it? I thought it was cute. Yeah. It and enjoyed. It. It didn't change my life. I mean, the, the music carried it. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty, the piano scene was pretty funny. When hmm. his family kept interrupting him. He's like, it's one of the greatest songs of all time. Show hmm. some respect. Like, yeah, okay. Mm. I didn't like Ed Sheeran in it. Uh, and also there was no like, I think it probably hit the cutting room floor, but it should have circled back to Ed Sheeran at the end and like, oh, he is the better songwriter. But but there was no like mea culpa with Ed Sheeran at the end of it. <laughs> I'm into my hanger. All right. My second hanger. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, I like Ed Sheeran just fine, but they played him up to be like, one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, like the best and songwriter alive. And he's great and all of that. But there was one line, it was, he's the one who said it. He said, you know, they always told me that, oh uh, yeah, you're gonna have that card forever. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you know, they said there was gonna be somebody who came along one day who would be better than me. <laughs> right. Whoa. Right. Like it's. Sorry, like it's the prophecy, you know? Like, like come on. Okay, Ed Sheeran, don't put yourself up there. Got a Kyle, another Kyle. Hey, you're hey. getting all the cards that I wanted. That's great. 
I'm happy for you rather than so much, spiteful. So much fun, he says angrily. That's great. I want you to get good cards. <clears throat> Not all the good cards. I was waiting for the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You need to get a Louis Robert. We just, we, I have empty packs, empty boxes everywhere. And we haven't gotten one Robert in either one of these days. 360 cards in three days. Come on. Single Roberts. That card's turned around. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, an auto. Is that the first auto we've gotten where it wasn't a guaranteed auto? It's the first one I've gotten. That's special. I don't know who he is. I don't either. But just just look at the auto and just sound it out. <laughs> it's not that great of an auto. But I'm excited about it. Yeah, that's cool. Is there a number on it? Nope. Okay. R is that rookie auto Sheldon News, maybe? Probably. Are you wow? Are you literally shaking? I don't know if I'm literally or figuratively shaking. This is uh, the update. Oh, okay. Boba shit. That's my second bow. Yeah. Both of them update. I like that. Okay. I like that I'm shaking has become almost meme caliber uh, joke out there in hobby land on Twitter. Has it? Yeah. Uh, it's silly. It'll, it'll be like somebody f uh, somebody found decently priced top loaders literally shaking. It's funny. On top loaders at Meyer a couple months ago. I'm kicking myself for not buying all of them. Oh, wow. And this is why we don't do breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Alonzo, that was a Pete Alonzo refractor. Yeah. Is he good? That'll be a couple bones. All right. Let me pop him up here. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Ba, 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 boom. Second Shohei, Shohei I've gotten. Okay. All right, I got five left in my sepias. Cool. As you like to say. Albert Pujols, he just eclipsed somebody on, is it the RBI list or something? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was home runs. I thought he was approaching someone in home runs. I I really don't know. There's a lot of those too. I'm very good at this. But not just this. Aaron Judge. Is that your first judge? There's a Vlad. 85. 85. Probably worth a couple bones. Maybe. Quite possiblemente. Ooh. In Espanol? Yeah. I enjoyed learning the adverbs because they all ended in mente. <laughs> These are easy. <laughs> Just add mente at the end. Yeah. That was a Ricky guy. Who was your guy back in the day? If you had one, if you had one player, who was it? Lou Whitaker. He played my position on my home team. Yeah. Like Lou and Joe Dumars are a lot alike as players. Yeah. Both of them, your guys. My guys. Yep. I know that you'll have that card forever. Yep. Uh, but all right, who was your non Detroit guy? Because it's too easy. Yeah. Uh, it was Bo. 
Yeah. Bo and Ricky. Right. Are my two guys. How about non Detroit for you? It it changed. So starting collecting in, I don't know, third or fourth grade, Don Mattingly, because that was the 84 year. Uh Jose Canseco. Yeah. Because he was the guy. Yeah. And then I guess Griffey a little bit. Not so much. I didn't go crazy for anybody else. All right. This is my last pack. Doc Gooden, maybe. It does. Okay. That's it. Well, I'm glad we know. Oh, Keith. <laughs> It's like it's like finding out a, a a terminal illness diagnosis. Just well, okay, yeah. Early detection of these cards being terrible. It's it's important. So at least we know. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to wonder. Uh, you know what? Not knowing is the worst part. Right. Yeah. It really is. Like they're sitting there. You want to get to them. Yeah. You think maybe they're special. Yeah. Now you know. Mm -mm. Now you can take the proper steps. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're talking lifestyle change here? Well, you do have to go through these and, and check the serial numbers, which is such a, it's uh, a, that's a weird thing to make people do. Uh, only on the Series 2, because the Chrome will actually say refractor or whatever under the name of the, uh, under the number of the card. But even short prints? I don't know. I think you might have to check them all, buddy. Maybe. I hope not. Uh, collecting like can be such a drag. <laughs> you know. Well, uh, peaks, peaks and valleys. All right, buddy. Uh, excuse me. That was Goodness. fun. That was fun. It's always fun. No matter what, it's a good right. time. It is. Tell the family I said, hey. Will, you do the same. Have fun on your trip. I will try. Uh, are you, you. going to check any check out any any uh, places on your way up? Bro. Man, you know I am. Is the Pope Catholic? I think so. I think he is. Does the Pope have a personal collection? Um, what? Who's your favorite pope? Who's my favorite pope? Yeah. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I... Gregory? Phillips? No. You I went to me to answer that with a real answer. Word. Um, here's the thing about the pope. Now that we've had a pope John Paul, is it too much to ask for a pope George Ringo? <laughs> is he the first john paul there were two john pauls that's pretty funny keith thank you you're a beatles guy i am all right buddy i love you this was fun have a safe trip i'll be a i'll be cranking for delta dental when you get back yeah you will i'm so excited it's exciting i'm ex i'm excited for you you know what? I've done this on more than one occasion where I have a stack of cards to put into penny sleeves and I randomly grab the exact amount of penny sleeves that I need. Mm. Good feeling. Oh, it feels so good. That is, that's satisfying. There's so much about card collecting that I love. That being but, one. But mostly that. Ah, uh, it's good right. stuff. Cool, dude. I'm going to go uh, make sure, you know, my house is still not on fire. And your baby's alive. Yeah, dude. And we'll talk soon. Until next time. See ya. Bye-bye.